back the next day to get, um, they're having the September 21 days of sale events where for 21 days they're gonna have a sale and I went back um, two days in a row. So this is a haul compilation of day one and day two. Um, the first day, which was September 2nd, I went there and got two things. Let me just get all the stuff out of my head. If you spent $25 or more on a Bare Minerals product, then you would get Stroke of Light, which is their new eye brightener. I think it's new. I'm pretty sure it's new. Um, so I got their, this is new. I've got this luminizer from Bare Minerals in the Love Affair. It's a illuminator. You can put it, you know, under your eyes. I've applied it right here and right here. And it's in a white case. I'm so used to having black Bare Minerals products everywhere. This is what it looks like. The stroke of light stuff works really well. I'm not wearing it right now, but what it says in this little package is that it immediately brightens the eye area and diffuses dark shadows and reduces the appearance of fine lines and dark cir circles. It tells you to dab a small amount at the inner corner of each eye and along the under eye area, gently blending for an even application. Next thing, I actually went to Ulta for some mascara because my Bare Minerals is getting old and it's starting to freaking flake everywhere. So tip, if your mascara starts flaking, it means it's getting old. It flakes and it gets everywhere and it's like all under here. I'm, I put it on and it looks great and then 10 minutes later I'm walking out the door and then I look in the car and I've got crap everywhere. So I needed a new mascara. I really love the Bare Minerals, but I wanted to try something new. I always like to switch up my products and get something new and test things out. So I tried this. Um, they're real and this stuff is freaking awesome these are my eyelashes I have no fake eyelashes on and um, I'll do a little close-up so you can see how you know how defining this mascara is but it works really well I really love it this is the wand and it's got a bunch of little spiky guys on there those guys get in there and they really work together to make your eyelashes all fancy and stuff this stuff works really well and I really like it next I've got, I got some NYX eyeshadow, and I'm wearing these colors right now. Oh, except for this one, I'm not wearing this one. But I'm wearing these three colors right now. <laughs> this one's taupe, silk, dark brown, and then this one is Sahara. NYX, NYX, NYX. The next thing that I've got are two NYX lipsticks. Now, there's something different about the two of these, and it's not the color. It's the taste. So the Milan one is perfectly fine. It doesn't taste like anything. But this one, which is Gardenia, tastes like Lysol. Like, the way that Lysol smells, that's how this tastes. It's disgusting. So I can't, I can't bear to like, even keep it. It doesn't even smell like that. It just tastes like it. It's weird. But the color is gorgeous and I'm really sad that I can't wear it. I mean, it, I can wear it. I just don't like the taste and I don't think I can like put myself through wearing it. But this one um, that I'm wearing now is Milan and I really like the color. I like the taste is normal. No weird tastes there. So let me show you the colors. And the colors are amazing. These colors are really vibrant. It's just that, that issue with the taste. So there's the colors, and then this is the one I'm wearing now. Hello. Next, I have Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Eye Primer. I tried to say that five times in a row. I got this because it was on sale for $10, and I wanted a new eye primer. I also wanted to try out Tarte stuff and see how how it works. Um, I have the primer underneath my eyes now. Looking down in the mirror down here. Now, I've got it on now and I don't see any creases. I've had it on for about two hours now. It applies kind of watery and I've read some reviews and there wasn't a lot of good reviews about it. I think it still does do the trick. It does work as a primer. It does work in, you know, adding a little bit more punch to your colors and then also just stopping creases. But a lot of people don't like it because it's really runny kind of like watery and it applies clear so you can't really tell if it's on or not that that's not an issue for me I feel that it's going on my eyelids so I um, you know I, I'm okay with that I'm okay with the texture it's not like urban decay stuff so let me just do a little example of the color what it looks like after applying the uh, primer so I'm gonna use taupe by NYX that I just got Okay, so put a little bit of that over there all right, so as you can see, well, I'll do a little close up, but if you can see that, um, it really makes the eyeshadow go on pretty smooth. It does 
enhance a little bit more of the pigments in the taupe when I use the primer versus if I don't and um, it just makes the eyeshadow glide on a little bit more smoothly so that's that but you can use this on your on top of your eye under your eye to prevent creasing it's waterproof and then um, it's a universal shade it says it's originally $19 and I don't think that it's worth $19 um, just because I've used other products that have worked a little bit better than it that's just my opinion I don't know other people might think differently but my opinion it's I, I would pay $10 for it but I wouldn't pay $19 for it that's my Holly um, yeah I should be hauling again <laughs> soon all right everyone I'll talk to you later